Hi guys, I'm Nutrix the Synth Guy and welcome to this video about Schlapp or Schlack, Schlack, Schlapp, <laughs> Schlapp from Kalem Audio. And today we're talking about the Jupiter XM. And today we're talking about the Jupiter XM. And my question when I first saw it was basically, who is this for? Today we're talking about the Polyin Tracker. Arturia came out with the firmware 3.0 of the Microfreak. Digitalism 2000. A new banks of sounds from UVI and it's called the PX memory. Today we're going to talk about granular synthesis and granular effects. gear acquisition syndrome. I have this cool new plugin from Bliss, which by God, you need to follow them and know what they're doing if you're into iOS music, because they've got really cool plugin for your app. What they have today is a slow motion app. Today, we're going to talk about books. This video is all about Zencore, Xenology, Jupiter X. How does it work? What's the difference? Today we're talking about another problem you're going to have to deal with when you're using MIDI. Today I'm going to talk about the process of one of my latest songs I'm working on. I went into Cubasis 3. Yes, me, I did go into Cubasis 3 because I'm still looking for the right mixing environment on the iPad. Today I'm going to talk about the Roland System 8, the process I went through to decide to buy the System 8 over other options in the market today. Today we're going to talk about the System 8 plug-out synthesizer. Now what does a plug-out synth is? Today we're not talking about this. I want to show you the, I would say, native synthesis of the System 8. Today's your chance. I did a couple of albums, but today I'm re-releasing an EP of two songs that I released originally, I think, two years ago. So this is part two of, you know, the in-depth tour of the synthesis of the System 8. So this one is about the LFO and the filters. And today we're going to talk about octophonic synthesizers compared to polyphonic synthesizers. Today we're talking about Bliss again, and they have this great motion effect coming out. Today we're going to talk about the System 8 sequencer. Today I'm exploring with you the Versalab MV1 from Roland. It is compatible with Zenbeats. Today we're going to talk about Shaper. And today we're talking about the Verse Lab MV1 from Roland. How to use this to make a song and how different this is from an MC 101 or 707. Another video, this time on the System 8, more specifically the effects. Today we're talking about the Super 7 from UVI. Today we're talking about Pigments 3 from Arturia. Today we're talking about from Kalem Audio, the Synthwave Essentials Pack 3. Today we're going to talk about the Digit from PolyEffect. Today we're playing with Multiphonics CV1 from Applied Acoustics System. Today we have a short video about this little thing. This is crazy. This is cool. I really like it. Today I'm talking about a special firmware update for the Jupiter XM. It actually opens the door to using the new software editor. Today we're talking about the FX Collection 2 from Arturia. Today we're doing something a little bit different. 
it's going to be an unboxing and my first reaction about the Uno Synth Pro. Square wave, the pulse wave. Today I'm talking about Hammerhead from Ben Boss. Today we are talking about a guided tour of the synthesis of the Unosynth Pro. Today we're talking about effects pedal. Yeah, it's called hors d'oeuvre, which is uh, appetizers if you want. Today we're talking about iPads. Yeah, 12 inch Pro iPad. I have the original 12 inch Pro from the first generation. And I bought a couple of weeks ago, the 12 inch Pro M1. Today we're talking about ripples from the U-Table instrument. Today, <laughs> I sat down saying, well, I'm gonna do a video this morning about the Nanoki Studio. The iPad doesn't see it. I mean, the OS doesn't see it. The gadget doesn't see it. Today, we're going to talk about Sunbox from UVI. Today, I'm answering a subscriber's question about problem syncing two of his devices. Today, I'm answering somebody's question about Hammerhead running inside Zen Beats with the problem that the mixer doesn't seem to work. So I'm guessing it's about the multi outputs of Hammerhead, like any other plugin that can have multi outputs. So let's talk about multi output or multi output plugins and how they work within Zen Beats. Today we're talking about Velvet Machine. Today we're going to talk about VS, Virtual Synthesizer from Imaginendo. <laughs> I have to tell you, this video was hard to make, <laughs> honestly. I think it's the fifth or sixth, sixth time I try to make this video. Every time I used it, I try to make a video for this topic. I had something go wrong. I recorded with distortion. Uh, I recorded, but my screen recording did not work. I recorded everything, but my audio did not record correctly. Or I recorded everything, but my camera did not work. Every time I had only trouble. So I, at one point I was asking myself, do I actually make this video? Or is it like nature's way to tell me, don't make this video. <laughs> and like this. This is my, oh, I have to stop that. This video is about me mixing with my favorite iPad mixing app, which is Oreo Pro. Today I'm testing out the Roland Go Mixer Pro X. In this case, we're talking about plugin synthesizer plugin, sampler playback plugin, and it's from UVI. It's the Emulation 2 Plus. You're changing the kit. Today we're talking about another great software synth from Arturia, the Ensonic SQ80. Today we're talking about the Critter Guitari, I would say it like that. Uh, the ISI or IC or IC, ISI. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this is a video synthesizer. Today I'm testing out the Roland Go Livecast. Today I'm more of the YouTuber geek guy who's going to talk about how I record my videos and the tools I'm actually learning to, to work with. Today we're talking about the Uno Synth Pro from iKey Multimedia. There's a new firmware 
but mostly there is a software editor. Hello everyone, bonjour à tout le monde. So if you want to follow this video, si vous voulez suivre ce vidéo, I suggest that you turn on the subtitles in the language you want to follow. Je vous suggère d'allumer les sous-titres dans la langue que vous voulez suivre. And the part that I say in the other language <laughs> will be translated just here. This video where we talk about Dreadbox kinematic effects pedal. Today, we're, we're, what we're talking about, it's the latest that they have come up with. It's called Dragonfly. And today, while well, I'm more of a, <laughs> of new tricks, the drum machine guy. So they released this week an editor. Today, we're talking about Arturia's Micro Freak version 4.0.1 of the firmware. There's a new synth engine called the Wave User Engine. Today, we're talking about the Roland JD800. And today, we're talking about the Dreadbox Lethargy. Today, I'm going to show you the Roland Go Mixer Pro X, and I have the Roland Go uh, Livecast. Today, I'm going to actually demo the voice designer. By the way, I just want to be sure to clear out that I'm not a singer at all. Today we're talking about the JD800 software versions. Today we're talking about a new version of pigments from Arteria. Today um, I'm talking about the X-Drive distortion. Today I'm going to talk about a microphone. This one, the Shure MV7. That's it. Stay safe. Make my music. Cheers. Thank you.